all technique, I'm sure. He is vacuuming the surface of the whale to remove the layer of dust that's built up over time. And um, it's, a, it's a really big model. It's a 94 foot long model, which is actual size for a blue whale. And um, he's just giving it a cleaning so it looks its best. It's really just the vacuum cleaner that he's using. It's a, you know, it's a uh, industrial vacuum with a HEPA filter and um, it just goes over every square inch of it. Yeah, dust, you know, dust gets in the air and, and eventually settles on the whale and if, you know, over, over a long period of time it gets, you know, to the point where it just needs a, a dusting. Every nine months we vacuum the entire whale and then every six months we'll do the face and the head. Uh, just to keep the dust down. It, it's a little disorienting once you get above 20 feet, um, but it's, it's also a lot of fun. Um, since the whale is, is such a strange amorphous shape, one is often disoriented when, when maneuvering around, in and around the area. It's very important not to hit the object. <laughs> hit the sculpture and, um, and it's, uh, when, you, when you get really high in the air, it, it also sways uh, back and forth. So you have to allow for a certain tolerance in, um, in movement and, and still be able to get close enough to clean it. Mostly I use the, the, the broad flat brush for the surface of the whale, but then in, with, when the contour, in certain contours around the face and head and the blowhole and things like that. I use the round brush because it gets in, it contours better. Is there lint in the belly button? <laughs> Not if I can help it. <laughs> <laughs>